Hello, everyone. Welcome to day 56. So I'm participating in a training this weekend with John Newton, who is a facilitator of healing ancestral work and really has been doing somatic like healing for decades now. And he said something really impactful today. And I wanted to share that with you because it relates to what we've been discussing in regards to the different yogas. And he asked us, well, why do we feel? Like, why do we have feelings? And after everyone put in their two cents, he simply stated, why do we feel? To feel. We could also ask the same question about the mind. Why do we have minds? To think. But this is the thing is, and what he brought forward that was so impactful was he said, the mind becomes the fallen angel. And yet, if we can perform tapas, if we can put forth effort to break through negative patterns, break through our obstructions, break through that matrix of separateness ultimately, and gain sovereignty over this beautiful bhuti, this intelligence that as human beings we all possess, then that fallen angel becomes, in John Newton's words, our highest angel. How does yoga relate to making sure that our mind doesn't become a fallen angel, but our highest angel? And that's really the essence of yoga. That's the purpose of the yoga sutras that Patanjali gifted us with, that have become so renowned. So I will continue to share for a couple more days about yoga and the Bhagavad Gita, and then we will begin discussing the yoga sutras. Om peace.